Hello everyone and welcome to more with Ms. Deshaun, the hottest in motivational and inspirational talk. I'm your host Deshaun Moore. Well, it's a new season and it's the breaking of a new day. And today on more with Ms. Deshaun, we are going to help you get a fresh start in life starting right now. You can't have a fresh start in life, so don't be discouraged. Radical fitness coach Doella Miller Thomas will talk about how to get your health back on course. And award-winning gospel artist TV2 is with us today to talk about his brand new project, Fresh Start. So stay with more with Ms. Deshaun as we bring you more entertainment, more inspiration, and more motivation. It's all right here on More with Ms. Deshaun. The best gospel music this side of heaven. WQSWLP 100.5 FM. Hello, this is your radical fitness instructor, Doella Miller Thomas, and I am so excited because it's time to spring forward into taking charge of your health. If you have fallen off the wagon, guess what? It's okay. I want you to tune in with more with Mr. Sun as we talk about springing forward to take in charge of your health. It's time to live a healthy, wholesome lifestyle. Tune in on today. Welcome back to more with Miss Deshaun. I'm your host, Deshaun Moore. Radical fitness coach, Doella Miller Thomas is here to get us on the path to ultimate health with tips to replenish your soul and start off on a new path to health and happiness. Hello, Doella, and welcome back to the show. How are you today? I am doing phenomenal, Miss Deshaun, and how are you today? I am doing exceptionally well. Excited about the tips you're getting ready to share with us. Yes, I believe a lot of us are really extremely ready for a fresh start and that's what we need to do. Doella, how does someone get motivated after these past two months of possibly falling off their weight loss or health journey? Well, yes, I know some probably did start off a resolution. So oh, I'm getting to the gym. I'm going to work out. I'm going to be committed to this. I'm going to do it. But then a week, two, three weeks went by and you have fallen off. But you want, know what? I want you to know that it is not time to give up. Even though you may not have stuck with those resolutions, don't worry about it. Actually, I'm going to tell you to kick the resolutions out the window and live a lifestyle of a fresh start. And that's what this is about, living a fresh start to take in charge of your health. So you may be wondering and asking, how do I do that, Doella? How do I make a fresh start? I thought I was doing that at the beginning of the year, but I didn't stick to it. Here's what I would say, dude. Most of the time, we need accountability. We don't. Ha- we need somebody that can hold us accountable and somebody that's really going to tell us the truth, Mr. Sean, and not play and not sugarcoat. Oh, it's okay if you don't exercise today. It's okay. Go ahead and eat that hamburger. It's all right. No. Oh, we need somebody that's really going to push us to make it a part of our lifestyle so we can have a fresh start. One mm-hmm. thing that I would suggest is getting a personal trainer. If you can afford a personal trainer, get a personal trainer. Why? Because they're going to tailor that program, that exercise, your eating plan. They're going to tailor that straight to you. Then you're going to have somebody that's going to be calling you, emailing you, texting you, Facebooking you, however they can get in contact with you. Like, okay, come on, Mr. Sean, it's time to wake up. We got to go work out. We have to eat healthy today. Did you get your oatmeal in this morning? So getting a personal trainer is awesome because that's somebody that's certified and they really know what they're doing. Also, another thing you can do, join a gym, but I don't say just join any gym. Join a gym where it's people that work there that care about the people that come through the door. So if you're joining a facility, that really cares about the people, they're going to be like, oh, I didn't see you last week. What happened to you? I missed you. And you Mm -hmm. then realize, wow, they care about me. They noticed that I was missing. That's extremely important. Another thing that I also would suggest is get a friend, your mother, your sister, your brother, your best friend, a co-worker that you can start training with, exercising with, and that's another way that you can have a fresh start. Those are three things you can do. A personal trainer, join a great gym, or get somebody that you know that will hold you accountable. And that's how you begin to take and make a fresh start in your life. Ah, yes. 
you can have a fresh start. Thank you so much, Doella, for that wonderful advice. We're encouraged to move forward in this new time in our life. Well, don't go anywhere. Well, you're still listening to more with Miss Deshaun. I'm Deshaun Moore, and I have so much more. So don't go anywhere as we bring you more entertainment, more inspiration, and more motivation. It's all right here on More with Miss Deshaun. This is Family Oriented Radio, WQSWLP 100.5 FM, and streaming live on the web at www.stolarwomen.com, originating from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Welcome back to more with Miss Deshaun. I'm your host, Deshaun Moore. Well, do you need simple solutions for organizing your home? I hear you saying yes. (laughs) Well, organizational expert, Miss Marcia Sims joins us and she will organize your home and your life in no time. Thank you for being on the show with us today, Marcia. You are the expert in this area and you seem to have done this for a very long time. I have worked with my organizing company since 1992. And it started because I had the problem. And I was always trying to learn how to get organized. And I had been reading books about getting organized and listening to tapes and just trying to do what I what I thought people who were organized did. And I didn't know, there was so much I didn't know or that I thought I didn't know. And so I started on the journey of trying to learn it for myself. And along the way, I started teaching other people. And it just kind of has blossomed into my organizing company. And now I teach people how to get organized and I train people who want to become professional organizers. Wow. And, you know, a lot of times when we think about organizing and if someone helping us getting organized, we get intimidated, Marcia, because, you know, it's almost like saying we have a problem. And the truth be it, Most of us or some of us may have a little issue. We don't even know it or we need to get things organized, but we don't know how to do it. How do we get started, Marsha? Because some of us are in (laughs) deep with getting our lives, again, our homes, our cars organized, all that stuff. So how do you begin? You know, that's the perfect question because I think that people do get intimidated with starting the process. And sometimes that's because we're afraid we're going to fail and, mm-hmm. or we're afraid we won't be able to do it perfectly or we're afraid that we're going to spend a whole lot of time trying to get organized and then we, it's not going to work so we give up and we, don't, we just don't begin because you can't fail if you don't start. So what I tell people is just start. Look at an area that you feel needs to be organized and not, not just necessarily a surface but a surface could be you know you just look at something like look around in your house and decide okay today I want to clean off the blank or today I want to make a plan for organizing my files or today start with something don't put off starting because you don't know how to end it mm-hmm. start yeah you well know, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one simple step mm-hmm. you can't get there unless you just do something better to do the wrong thing than do nothing. What I teach people in my programs is that what they should do is allow a minimum of 15 minutes a day to organizing something. And then you can start learning what to do during that time. But the first part is to make sure that you dedicate the time to it. If you don't give it any time, it's never going to happen. And if you give it 15 minutes a day, that's an hour, over an hour a week. I don't care what you're trying to organize. If you do it for one hour every single week, that's 52 hours by the end of the year. I don't care what you're trying to do. You can do that in 52 hours. That makes a lot of sense. And you made it so simple because I think we make it hard because we we look at our homes or we look in our offices and we're like, oh my goodness, I have accumulated all of uh, these papers, uh, the clothes, and it's just seem, it seems overwhelming. How do you get over that overwhelming feeling, Marcia? You know, 
Whenever you're trying to accomplish something, you have to just do it. It's not about how you feel. It's about what you do. Sandra Felton, who is my co-author, um, and I've, I've written, well, several books now on, on getting organized, but Sandra is my co-author, and she has this quote that is just perfect. Sandra says, the difference between organized people and people who are not organized is that organized people just do what they have to do and disorganized people have to feel like doing it first and that just says so much because let's say you have to wash dishes but you don't feel like it right now mm -hmm. so you wait but let or let's say you, you come home from work and you're tired and you need to hang up your clothes but you don't feel like it so you just lay them down on the side of the bed or on a chair or let's say you need to take out the trash, but you just don't feel like it right now. See, we operate based on how we feel. Organized people don't even understand that. When you tell them that, they, they'll say to you, what are you talking about? You don't feel like washing the dishes, or you don't feel like hanging up your clothes. You need to do it, you just do it. You just, it's a rote activity that does not require a feeling. So when you find yourself deciding if you feel like writing down the bill, or you feel like picking something up and putting it in the washing machine, if you find yourself moving into the feeling of it, you're moving in the wrong direction. Consider that it's a rote activity. It does not require a feeling. You don't have to feel anything when you put dishes in the dishwasher. You just do it. And I think she really hit the nail on the head with that quote. Because that is the bottom, the bottom line of the problem. That makes so much sense. Because Marsha, you know, uh, most of us we work according to our feelings or what we think, you know, we should be doing or not doing. And I, I think that's so. We don't have to base things on our feelings. Let's just do it. And I, I think that speaks volumes to most of us on how we operate our business and our lives. What I do is I tell people to set a timer for 15 minutes because you can block out how you feel for. 15 15 minutes. You may not be able to block out how you feel for hours, but for just 15 minutes, block out how you feel and take all those papers off the dining room table. You see? Mm -hmm. yeah. they're off. Now you can go back to being your normal feeling self. And that was a big problem for me because I didn't feel like it. And I used to say, you know, okay, I'm doing all this organizing stuff, but but the, the, the last straw is when I when I get ready to take off my clothes at the end of the day, I don't feel like hanging them up. That's just the last straw. I've done all this other stuff. I don't feel like it. So, you know, a week and a half, two weeks later, I had a huge pile of wrinkled clothes. Now they need to be ironed. Now I have another problem. Do I feel like ironing? <laughs> 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 Probably not. It doesn't get easier. Yeah. So if you just block out your feelings for 15 minutes and just do it. Well, that's professional organizer Miss Marcia Sims, CEO of Sorted Out Incorporated. Well, don't go anywhere. Our very special musical guest, Mr. Thurman B. Thornton, is next to tell us about his fresh start on More with Miss Deshaun. WQSWLP, your 24 hour home for gospel music, 100.5 FM. Out with the old, in with the new, I've been so bad, I need a breakthrough. Have you ever started a project and it seemed it just didn't come together? You left frustrated, confused, and disheartened. All you needed was a fresh start. Well, my guess gives us just that. He's award-winning indie artist Thurman B. Thornton. His interview is absolutely refreshing and inspiring. Please welcome to more with Mr. Sean, Mr. Thurman B. Thornton. How, How are, are you, Thurman? young man? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be alive and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. How are you doing? I am always great and I'm just so glad we were able to connect after all of this time. It's been like 1975? Oh my God, like, you know, 100 years from now, but you know what? Everything in due time, right? <laughs> absolutely. God has blessed me, and and I just try to stay that way. I, 
I keep a, a, a cool circle around me um, that keeps me leveled and keeps me humble, and they know how to check me. Uh, so I like to be real. I like to be real and just stay humble and stay cool and calm and collective and have fun. So I, I was a, I was blessed to meet you. I wasn't really worthy to talk. You doing that big? You doing them big things? You know. So I was like, oh, okay, bless. I had that. She got security with her. What? <laughs> Big things, you deal with big demons, and I thank you that you were instrumental in helping me slay them. So. <laughs> well, hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And you're right, new level, new devil. But the thing about it is that we still are overcomers. We still conquerors. We just got to keep the faith. I think if we don't believe our own height, stay humble. But, you know, there's, there's you know, not, not false humility. I mean, be humble for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, be humble and grateful and appreciative, but at the same time, be confident in, in what God gave you. So, you know, we, we do what we do, and you know, you, you know you're doing big things. Right. Wow, thank you so much, Thurman. You know, I truly am enjoying this season in my life. My goal is to encourage and motivate and, you know, it's happening and I'm I'm excited about it. But more than anything, I am happy about your brand new project that is so timely. You released it at such a perfect time. Tell me about the Fresh Start project. Wow, Fresh Start is, uh, that song almost did not happen. People don't even know. Um, it was produced by my brother, my boy, uh, Venice Bryant, a.k.a. The Fina. Such an awesome producer. It was, uh, I wrote it. It was it was a song that was birthed out of a lot of pain and a lot of stress stressful situations that seemingly did not it, it just didn't look like it was gonna be right. Um I'm finding out that with with this song and I'm finding out with life and sometimes we go through a lot of different things and we just have to have a reset. We need a, a, a new beginning, a, fr- a, a fresh start. And and I wasn't in a place to where I thought I could do it, if that makes any sense to you. I didn't think that, you know, because after you've been in certain things for so long, whether it's a relationship or, or a job or even with me, with the industry, I was with a previous, you know, label or whatever and, and just wasn't, you know, ended up going sour and it wasn't happy. And, and you don't always want to start over again. You don't always want to, you know, go through that process again. And what God was letting me know through this song is that it's not starting over. It's so bad when you start over with him. You know, it's not so bad when you when you when you hit that reset button and realize that you you actually are better off than where you where you were. You're not starting off at the bottom, and sometimes you do have to start off at the bottom again because you learn some things. But now you know certain routes and ways to take. You know, so it, this song is 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 doing more than what I thought it would ever do. Um, it is so timely because so many people hit me up and they be like, "This you just do not understand how badly I needed something. Uh, I needed a recharge or I needed something done over in my life again." And so. I'm blessed that people are being blessed by the song and that people are realizing that, you know, it's all right to start over in that business or start over in music or start over in relationships or start over in, you know, health and all those different things. And and when you start over with God, that makes it all better, you know. I'm, I'm blessed and, and happy about the, the, the reception of the song and what it's actually doing. Thurman, I'm so glad you brought that out because so many people think starting over equates to failure, but it doesn't. Yeah, we just have to understand what, what it really means means to start over. And like you said, and that was something that was very profound, it does not mean failure. It does not symbolize that at all. Man makes makes it look like it does, but it really doesn't. It just means that, hey, this this is something that I tried it this way. It didn't always it didn't all come out the way that I thought it was going to, but I'm willing to go ahead and, and, and recharge it and do it again. And this time when I do it, it's gonna be at a place to where, okay, I know not to fall here. It's 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 not always an easy pill to swallow when something doesn't actually actually go all the way as we thought it. But when you you know, how do you how you think you think about Albert Einstein and, and all the different people that, that created different things that we use today. It it didn't work in immediately, you know what I'm saying, when it started. They had to do some test and trial and error and all those different types of things to to see if it was going to work. So how do you find out if something works? you got to keep testing and trying. And once once you do it and, and God gives you the vision of, of what it is, then you'll be like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's, we just have to, we as, as people of God, we just have to understand that failure, you know, success comes with, you know, a lot of different things and tests and trials bring bring about great success. You can't have a great victory unless you you've lost something somewhere. You gotta understand what it is to lose something to understand what it is to be victorious over something. So, you know, that that's it blesses me to know that people are learning God and learning and meeting God and understanding that, hey, you may make these mistakes, but you don't have to stay in it. You know what I mean? You yeah. you you build from it. And and that's the great thing about it. Thurman, when you told me that you were starting something new, you went full throttle with it. And I noticed your consistency. That's one thing I noticed about you is that you're very consistent in getting your product out there. What keeps you motivated in this industry? Because this industry can be very hard. You 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 would be surprised how uh, <laughs> 
I'm serious. You would. Uh, it is. It's not easy, and and being in and being in the industry where you know the little guy is not always looked at. You know what I'm saying? As you know, it's hard. I think with me, it's just that I have a stronger will. If that makes any sense. Um, I had I had a, I had a mother and a mother that raised me to. Uh, I had a mother that raised me to always be um, 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 competent. And, and the thing about it is, is that this is something that I dreamed about when I was little. When I was little, mm. when I was younger, I love singing. That's that's who I am. That's who I am, and that's who I. Uh, that's how God had made me. And so it's a dream that I have. And when I decided to really go full force into this, I came into the knowledge, understanding that you know, of course, who don't want a million records? So you know, who don't want who don't want folks, everybody to love your music and download it, and the bookings to come in, and the money to come in for everywhere. And, and all that type of stuff. Who don't want it? But you also have to understand, hey, everybody don't know you yet. So you have to you have to take the good with the bad. And, you know, this industry can kill you. Mm-hmm. It, it can. It can kill you. But you have to have an inner resolve. You have to have an inner drive that at the end of the day you say, you know what, this is what God wanted me to do. This is what he made me to do. And um, I have to accept the fact that i got to work hard. I just refuse to fail. I refuse to fail. I'm, I'm not that dude. I cannot and I won't fail. God didn't didn't build me to fail. We're not built to to, to to fail. We're made to succeed. We just have to set you know, go through different stages and segues in life to to find us. You know what I'm saying? Find out what, what it is that he wants for us to do. So with me in this industry, I, I just refuse to play by the rules. I refuse to play by man's rules. I play by God's rules and I go about it. I, I just refuse to stop. Because the thing about it is is that if I don't affect nobody but one person my time is done. Thurman's decision to not fail has produced one of the most heartfelt and powerful singles in the indie industry, Fresh Start. And to give you a little debut of what he's been up to, here is the single, Fresh Start. Out with the old, in with the new, I've been so bound, I need a breakthrough. My sins held me down, had me so confused. But right here and now, I want to be new. I've been down for so long, didn't know what to do. I lost a lot of loved ones, but it's led me to you. I long to be free from the shame holding me. So Lord, hear my cry, hear my plea. I want a fresh start. 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 So create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. I want a fresh start. I want a first time Out with the old In with the new Yeah I've been so found I need a breakthrough My sins held me down Had me so confused But why I wanna be I 
And what a great job you did, Thurman. Thank you so much for being on more with Miss Deshaun today. So enjoyed you. And I want to remind everyone that you can pick up his hit new single available right now on iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, and Google Play, all digital retail outlets. Also, be sure to hit him up on his Facebook page at Thurman B. Thornton or TB2 to find out all of the latest Fresh Start tour dates as well as getting your hard copy of the CD. Well, I hope you enjoyed Mr. Thurman. We certainly did and we will be right back to bring you more news, more inspiration, and more motivation. It's all on More with Ms. Deshaun. WQSWLP, your 24-hour home for gospel music, 100.5 FM. More entertainment, more ministry, and more motivation. Deshaun. Have you ever wondered why certain music artists are just hot? They seem to be more visible and successful than others. Well, if you want to take your music career to the next level and make a fresh start in your music career, a publicist can do that for you. Andrea Williams is president of Tehila Records Enterprises. She is one of the most sought after publicists in the industry. The music industry can be challenging. Whether you have dreams of being a contestant on Sunday's Best or you're the next best indie artist, you need the right people and tools to get to the next level. And one of those tools is having a great publicist. And Andrea Williams is just that. Hi, Andrea. Welcome to the show today. How are you? I am so good. How are you? I am really well, Andrea. Thank you so much for being on the show. There are so many music artists out there who want to know what to do, how to do, how to get their album, uh, you know, uh, out there, their CD or whatever, and they just don't know. So can you tell us a little bit about your company? Well, my company is called Tehillah Enterprises, and Tehillah actually means praise or sing unto the Lord. So our focus is entirely on gospel music and promoting the people that that make it and creators of that type of music. Um, I really, I got my start at the Grammy Awards years ago, about 15 years ago, and a lot of people would come to me, you know, I know that God has gifted me to sing, and I really, really, you know, know that, that this is what God has called me to do, but I don't know what to do now. How do I get in the industry? How do I, you know, how do I, what do I do after I make a record? And, and so God just really put on my heart to assist artists with really getting their name out there. And PR is part of, of that formula for success when it comes to, you know, artistry. Uh, my company, uh, we started in 1999. I went full time doing PR in 2006. And our focus really is to just really shine a light on gospel music and gospel artists and, and, you know, get their music out there, get their name out there. You know, as a publicist, a lot of what I do is connecting with media. So if you see a, uh, for instance, an artist uh, on the cover of a magazine, uh, you know, a publicist behind that, if you see a, a feature article, in a publication, mm-hmm. you know, a publicist is part of that. When you look at Bobby Jones Gospel, that's you know, publicists fighting to you know get their artist on. So a lot of what it has, to, a lot of what a publicist job entails is connecting with media, pitching your artist, and saying, you know, I really believe in them. They really should be on, you know, we really should be in this magazine. They really need to be on TBN because I know they're going to bless the people of God. So yeah. that's a big part of of being a publicist, just sharing with media about the artist and then in turn the media whether it's you know radio you know or or it's tv or or whether online they share it with their listeners their viewers and their readers so it is important for an artist to have these components not just you know i have my mom my sister they know how to write they know how to do this let me let them represent me it's it seems like a, a, having a publicist is a key component and why is that Andrea, I, why is I, why can't mom, sister, brother do this? <laughs> Right. You know, uh, mom, sister, brother, they're great, they're fabulous, but one of the things that I think is key for a publicist is the contacts 
that they have. Uh, there are so many gifted people in this industry. And even though Mama may believe in you like she should, um, <laughs> right. TBN might not necessarily, uh, you know, pay attention to her or take her call uh, because there's so many artists. And so a publicist, a big part of being a publicist, is those contacts with media that can help get you in the door where, you know, other, whether you calling or, or somebody who, uh, you know, loves you, family member, may not be able to, to open that door for you so a lot of my time is connecting with people in media uh, you know networking those kind of things because that those relationships are very important in this industry and that's so important because you know how to talk to the media you know what to say to right. get them to uh, get your artist on like you say TBN so right. it's more than just you know having someone representing you yeah. it is someone who is knowledgeable and really understands the lingo. Because I think that's really important, Andrea. It is. It's quite important because, you know, when I pitch to media, there are specific things that they're looking for. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, those components, as a publicist, I'm aware of what they're looking for. I'm aware that they, if possible, they want to see how this artist performs on TV. So I might send them a link of a video or a link of another, you know, TV program they, they um, that the artist was on. Or And, and there are other things. They want background information. They, they want a lot. There are specific things that they're looking for that as a publicist I can provide for them and you know having been on the other side of of media as far as my own uh, publication I understand what it is that they're looking for from that aspect too so um, yeah so I I think having a publicist is really key when you look at the top artists many of them have at least one publicist so Mm -hmm. you know they have the main the, the label publicist that does a lot of the main work for for the artist, but then lots of times they also have an independent publicist who really focuses a little bit more on their uh, you know on their ministry as opposed to the label, which is more concerned about the label's image. And um, so there, obviously, if artists are are willing you know to pay and see the importance of that, then indie artists should it well should as well. Yes. Now, when you are looking at or someone or someone is uh, approaching you and they want you to represent them, Andrea, what are you looking for in a music artist? I think the key thing that I'm looking for, number one, is talent, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I think there's that thing in the industry that's called that it, that thing. You can't necessarily define it, but uh-huh. it is that thing that makes you you unique, you special, that, that thing that kind of sets you apart. We remember many times the first time we heard Whitney Houston sing or the first time we heard Yolanda Adams sing. You know, it's that component. It's the creativity. It's the talent. It's the voice. It's the look. It's everything all rolled up into one that has you say, Wow. You know, it's that yeah. wow factor. Yeah. And you know what, Andrea, so many uh, artists that I've run across, I know that they'll come to me and they'll say, Deshaun, I can sing, and I love to sing, but it's hard to relate to them that it takes more than the gift. It's something yeah. about that person that yeah. makes you want to say, wow, I really want to invest in them. And yeah. so how do you get that across to artists without hurting their feelings, <laughs> you know? Right. Because that's hard. <laughs> it, it, it is hard. It is hard. And I definitely have had artists to come to me that, you know, in my heart I would have loved to have represented, but when I hear the, the finished product or, you know, the song, and I'm like, uh, I just don't think that they are, you know, they have exactly what it takes for a national platform. Now, I'm a strong believer that not everybody is supposed to be on the stellar awards you know not everybody is supposed to have a national platform some people are to sing in their church whether it's a storefront church and they're singing in front of 10 people and that is their mission and they'll get to the pearly gates and god will say well done Uh, so i do think that it has to do with where is your calling where exactly is god placing you in this industry um I, i do believe that that anointing is very very important i think understanding the industry is important uh i think honing your gift you know many of us in the gospel music industry because we feel that that god has anointed us don't necessarily uh you know craft hone 
practice, you know, get a vocal coach. Those are some of the things that, that we don't do. So those are, 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 I think, some of the things that artists miss out on sometimes. When you are working, Andrea, on an, uh, one of your clients, how do you know, besides you, you've been in the industry, but are there times when you feel like this door, although it may be a Bobby Jones or maybe a TVN, the artist may not be ready, although you believe in them, Andrea, mm-hmm. how, how do you know that this is, you know, they, mm, you may need to wait a little bit. And I know that's hard right. because you're the publicist. So yeah. <laughs> how do you, how yeah. do you work that? You know, what I do, and, um, you know, I've actually been in that exact position, um, and what I have done is to go to the artist and say, you know what, I don't think we're quite ready for this platform, but let me do this. Let me provide artist development for you. So mm-hmm. that is something that Tahila Enterprises does as far as, um, you know, making sure that your performance is, is stunning. You know, yeah. how you walk on the stage, how you interact with the audience, you know, your vocal quality, your technique. Um, do you convey the song in a way where people really feel like you mean it, you know? Um, yeah. So there are things that, that I think that if an artist is not ready, there are things that you can do to get ready. And so my company uh, is, is part of that process, and, and I love to be able to do what we can to get that artist to the level where it's like, yes, you're ready. Yeah. You know, I can pitch you for TBN now, so. And, you know, um, the reason why I asked that, Andrea, because I know that your company does more than one aspect of the industry. So mm-hmm. when an artist gets with your company, they're not just going to be represented, but they're going to receive honest feedback. Yes. You've yes. always been straight up with me. When I talk yes. to you, you have always been kind. But I can mm-hmm. tell in your voice and in your business ethics that, you know, you're going to be very real and uh, consistent with people. So yes. they're getting more than just representation. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, integrity is so important to me. It's it's just something that I live by. And as a matter of fact, in, in my information that I give out to people when they want to know about my products and services, I have in there a pledge of integrity. So they can know that whatever it is that we have promised to do, we will do for them. Now, in this industry, there are really no guarantees as far as coverage, but my company in particular will do what we say as far as pitching. If we say we're going to pitch you, we'll pitch you with everything in us. Um, and, and any of, of the other services that we have, we'll, we'll definitely do them. But I've heard so many horror stories from people in the gospel music industry, which breaks my heart, uh, people that have paid for things and haven't gotten what was promised. So that is one thing that, that my company does not do. I mean, we are, I feel like we're supposed to be representatives of God, whether it's in business or personal. Um, and so I feel that that's so important to uh, to, to you know hold up the banner of Christ and, and walk in truth. So Yeah, awesome. Um, what advice would you give uh, an independent artist? Because there's, the indies are blowing up. I mean, the, yeah. that industry is really thriving. What advice would you tell someone who's just starting? They may have just cut a single or something, and they're like, I'm ready to go. What advice would you tell them, Andrea? Well, number one, I think that they need to, I would encourage them to get a publicist because once that project is done, then the, 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 the hard work, I believe, really starts. So you want to bring a publicist on board when it comes to your imaging, you know, your imaging, your branding. What is it that you want to convey to the public? That's something my company does as well. Um, and then we also do biographies, we do press kits, press releases to announce, you know, the new album or the new single. So I do think that PR is crucial. Also, marketing, which PR is actually a part of marketing, but you know, marketing and advertising, set aside a budget for PR, set aside a budget for marketing, whether it's advertising in a magazine or online or radio. Um, so start thinking about how are you going to promote this record now that it's done. I also mm-hmm. encourage artists to uh, book themselves or, or you know, have a booking agent to, to get them out there with engagements because that's really where the artists will make their bread and butter. So those are the type of things that I uh, suggest that, that artists do. And, and then get, get involved in the industry. You know, join uh, some of these organizations that are gospel music related. Read up on what's happening in the music industry as a whole. Become informed. Um, 
Um, this is a business and a ministry, which makes it unique. So you have to do both well if you want to be successful. Wonderful. Now, Andrea, how can we get in touch with you if there's someone that wants to utilize your services? And I highly recommend, Andrea, you all. So <laughs> get your pen, your cell phone, whatever you got to do to write this information down. Andrea, how can we get in touch with you? Well, you can get in touch with me by going to my website, which is Tehila. that's T-E-H-I-L-L-A-H-P-R, Dot com. Uh, so you can go and check out my website there. You can also reach me uh, via email at Andrea, A-N-D-R-E-A, at com. And then, of course, we're on Facebook. Of course, we're on Twitter. Um, so you can reach us there as well. And then you can reach us also by phone at one 844 7701 Andrea, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to inform us and uh, tell us about your wonderful company. I truly, truly, truly am going to be promoting you because, oh. like I said, I've known you for a couple of years, never met you personally, but every time I talk with you, you were always so kind. And even though sometimes when I miss the ball, you were just professional and you didn't beat my head down, Andrea, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Deshaun. <laughs> For everything that you have done to support me and my artists, I am so grateful. All right, everyone. That was Andrea Williams, president and founder of the Tehila Entertainment Group. If you're looking for a wonderful publicist and you want a fresh start with your music ministry, you want to contact her. Thank you so much, Andrea. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. WQSWLP, your 24-hour home for gospel music, 100.5 FM. Well, you know I can't leave you without giving you a motivational moment. You know, we've been talking about making a fresh start. And the good thing about a fresh start is it's up to you. The decision is up to you. You don't have to wallow in your past. You don't have to stay there. You can begin again. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. does not matter. God has given all of us an opportunity every day to make a decision to start new and it doesn't mean that you fail it just means that you're starting over in him I have some tips on how to begin again make that fresh start and again all you have to do is do it number one learn from your lessons try to see the experience not as a tragic end but as a new beginning the mistakes you make in life can make you stronger and ultimately shape your future number two take stock there's nothing wrong with lying low for a while it's an opportunity to regroup and rethink if you are newly single or perhaps plan a trip you've always wanted to take if you've been retrenched it could mean starting your own business take stock there's nothing wrong with lying low for a while. It's an opportunity to regroup and rethink. Number three, lose gracefully. When you're hurt, it can be very tempting to lash out. But the best strategy is to maintain your composure and avoid burning any bridges. Instead, instead of telling your ex-boss to take a hike, wish them well and move on. Number four, allow yourself time to wallow. Eat some chocolate. Watch a good movie or call your friends. Write a letter and burn it. Get it all out. 
leave the past behind. Number five, leave the past behind. It's only natural to put the emphasis on the negative experiences, but reliving the past is only torturing yourself because it's not where you're going. That energy is better spent investing in your future. Number six, forgive yourself and others. Holding a grudge or beating yourself up will ultimately weigh you down. Forgiveness isn't about being weak or allowing anyone to get away with anything. It's about setting yourself free. And last but not least, focus on being happy. Regardless of what happened, there are plenty of ways to find a little joy. Go for a walk, call your mom, sit in the sunshine, or go out with your friends and just enjoy life. And above all, take one day at a time. You know, you can begin again. You can start fresh. You can enjoy life. And that's what it's all about. Enjoying the life that God has given you.
presence of the Lord. I've been free, free, free delivered. delivered, and in your presence, Lord, I've found joy, peace, grace, grace, and favor.
Well, everyone, that's my time. Thank you so much for being with More with Miss Deshaun. I am Deshaun Moore, and I am always honored to come into your living rooms, your car, or wherever you are to bring you more inspiration, more ministry, and more motivation. It's all right here on More with Miss Deshaun. And again, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. More entertainment, more ministry.